welcome back to the continuation of the modifications of the K40 laser to make it into a pretty handy little tool around your workshop. So uh, they, they're fairly quick and easy actually. So we'll get stuck right in and we're going to get rid of that manifold affair inside which I can tell you is just choking the whole system up. Now it should come out fairly easy. Oh, look at that. And a nice cable as well. So, by what I can see, this is just held on with four screws. This is just this this affair, which someone at some time thought it was a good idea. Um, it's just held on with four screws, so. And that modification is as simple as that. In actual fact, we've got, what we're going to do is we're going to turn this upside down. Uh, I believe the holes will all line up. So that will take the cable then down below. It's not going to fall in front of the fan. Okay, so we can get rid of that offending object. This <laughs> I don't know who came up with that idea, but it's nasty. Got a good length in here, probably about, uh, you know, I pull through, you know, nearly a meter. Because it's going to go through a chain, uh, through a, a cable chain. Or cable track, which uh, I'm going to be mounting here. So um, that's that bit. So now we're just going to put this back together, making sure that that cable is on the underside of there. Okay, so that's that little mod done. I'm just going to switch it on just to see how much more air blast is coming through there. There's quite a bit more air coming through there and it's less laboured too and it's not as noisy. Alright, so it's not trying to suck air through a very narrow sort of opening just quietened it down quite a lot and improved the airflow greatly I think you may agree that now the area that uh, is allowed to have airflow oh that's loose as well is allowed to have airflow in through there it's not restricted now um, and I think in this case, I may not even need the larger blower, but I'll stick it on anyway. But I think you'll also agree that it's a lot quieter now. Before I go any further, I just want to check to see how efficiently now that fan is, is, is clearing the uh, smoke and debris without any further modification. So I'm just going to run the, uh, just a hundred millimeter or ten centimeter cut line. Uh, I'll just turn it back a little bit. I don't want to cut all the way through. I just want to make some smoke. So I'm going to run this at eight millimeters per second. 
and uh, let's see what happens. Still got a lot of flame, but all the smoke is going into that fan. In fact, it was cutting through there as well, I think. Yeah, cut right through. Oh, that's set quite well. Better than I thought. Um, let's try... Oh, I've taken it down to um, 10 milliamps. Uh, just, I, actually, I'm going to fetch this further forward, further back into here to see what happens with the uh, smoke and debris. Bit midway there. There we go. Well, what do you know? I'm just going to try again with the top down. Okay, let's try again. That actually makes a big difference. Although the smoke is going back, it is tending to come up and swirl around. So that means there's not enough air getting actually into this cavity to be able to have a good flow. So normally air comes from the front. On these models, there's a hole back down in here. That's where the air comes into the cavity, supposedly. Um, not enough. So I think I'm going to have to uh, make more holes in the cabinet to allow more air in for cutting with the, the, the door closed. Okay, so I've got a couple of little jobs now I've got to do sort of like simultaneously, I suppose. Um, now I've shortened this track to where I think it needs to be but what you've got to make sure of is when you attach it to your um, your x-axis slide there that it doesn't block the, um, the beam and you have sufficient to go all the way around and I think that's fine all right so really all I've got to do is attach this now to the casing there keep it up and just make a little little bracket to go on top of here to connect this to that should be fairly easy and at the same time I want to take this off to put my new one on which is a fairly simple affair so what I'm going to do so I don't damage it is first of all take the mirror out Like this. Oh, it's a bit grubby even. Look at that. These are not glass. These are actually polished metal. So I'm going to put that up here out of the way. 
and we're simply just going to hold the bottom put this through the top and slacken it and there's the lens down in the bottom there there it is there and you can see already you can see already that the laser has already reflected back up off this base and has actually hit the base of this right there so now we'll undo this and the lens is broken look at that lens is actually broken up 